Hello, and welcome back to the Mobius Archives. This is your host, Mobius Rex, and we are playing Kerbal Space Program. Well, last time we were playing a lot with the airplanes, but now we are kind of out of science. So we need to go ahead and get more science. And what I kind of want to do is, before we get any more science, before we go to min or anything like that, I want to actually try to take our current technology level with our heavier rocketry and whatnot and actually reach Duna. Uh, while we were away, while well, you guys were away, I went off and grabbed a full roster of crew, but we're not going to be using them today. We are going to try to make our best AI ever. So we'll call this the Duna Long Shot One. And we're going to use a Probodobodyne Hex because that includes, where do you, uh, Stability Assist and Prograde Retrograde Hold, which should help me out quite a bit. Uh, where'd that go? It didn't go anywhere because we didn't select it. All right. So let's go ahead and get some of this built. See you in a second. Actually, I was looking at something. You know what? We actually have um, a quest to build a new orbital station around Duna, so we might as well start it. Uh, it's a new station that has an antenna, a darkened port, and can generate power. Hopefully it doesn't have to be built all at once. And support at least 10 Kerbals! 10! So we're going to send something pretty much empty uh, supply station up with this hex. All right, we just completed this Duna Long Shot 1. This top section here is about 17 tons. Uh, have this all stacked up. Don't know whether this is going to make it to Duna. This is basically our test flight to see if we have something that can actually make it there. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get this to the launch pad, see if we could take off and uh, survive. Let's launch. This thing is almost definitely going to get interplanetary. Uh, but whether it will make it to Duna, that's another question. I'm going to throttle up a little bit. Don't know how much this actually needs, but uh, I guess we'll find out. I have this stage so that these engines will fire before these drop off. That'll just bring us more or less up to speed. All right. And in three, two, one. There we go. SAS on. Make sure you keep it on. And we're just going to tip over just a little bit. Don't want this to go too much. There's a lot of vibration here. So we'll see how much we actually need. And I'll have to keep an eye on this make it, as we go up. Try to avoid too much atmospheric drag. That's why I have nose cones on everything. And I have this uh, fairing out here. Pretty much my first liquid fuel burst boost stage. Burst stage. Doing okay. Collapse is at 8,000 meters. Yeah, there we go. We can throttle down. There's a lot of atmospheric drag there. We don't want too much of that. And just get this nice and turned over. Take advantage of this liquid fuel from this lower stage while we can. Apoapsis is actually climbing nice and high there. Those engines are starting to overheat, but they're almost all out of fuel as well. We are actually wasting a bunch of fuel. I'm just going to cut that for a second until we actually get out of the atmosphere. I'm going to let these guys take a breather. I can't actually control this any further, at least not significantly. Uh, turn RCS on if we really wanted to, but I'm just going to give these a last chance boost as we get out of the atmosphere, probably when we're closer to, closer to our apoapsis. All right, these tanks are heating up, and that's kind of weird. Even though we just left the atmosphere. Hmm. Odd. Maybe the heat... Oh, these are probably what the heat dissipation panels is for. Oh, I get it now. The heat is actually being transmitted through the entire... In, the entire, uh... rocket. Where is, we've done weird stuff here. I'm trying to get this to tip over, and it's not, and we should probably... Ooh. Pay attention to how much time we have. All right. Throttle up. Get rid of those. Get ourselves turned over all the way onto the 90. We pretty much just want... It's like wobbling like a piece of spaghetti here. 
You pretty much just want to go for the horizon. And there you go, our periapsis has appeared, and we are going to get into nice, easy orbit here. And there we go. 100 by 122, hopefully we don't hit anything. That's a 5 here, just in case. A little bit of fuel left in that uh, last stage there, the takeoff stage. Now we want to actually get to here, set as our target. So if we want to exit our orbit in a wider orbit, we kind of want to be moving this way uh, when we leave Kerbin. When we break Kerbin's orbit, so I'm going to add maneuver, say, over here. And see if that does anything for us. Uh, it definitely does something for us. It gets us almost all the way out to Duna's orbit, but where will we be? The nodes aren't too far off, so that's not bad. Just have to zoom in really close to uh, see that. See this control point. And just pull it out just gently. And... Oh, not bad. Can we... Whoop, tweak this just a little so that we... Oh, I saw something. I swear I saw something there. Hold on. All right, first off, I'm just going to break orbit. Uh, that seems like the easiest thing to do. And so we're just going to accelerate time a bit. I should be pointing prograde. How's our staging look? Should be pointing prograde uh, when we get to that node. It is 11 minutes away. Accelerate a little bit. It's about... 50 second burn, so we want to start this about half a minute in. It's going to get our, let our, oh, let our ship adjust its position, but, hmm. It may take a while for our ship to get into position, especially if we have fine-tuned controls on. Let's try RCS, see if that helps any. All right, just about made it here in time, and it should be in 40 seconds, but we start about half a minute early. I could get this into position. There we go. And it's about a minute burn. This lower stage here should probably burn out really quickly, and that'll just how much of a burn it really is. And... Ignite. More debris in orbit of Kerbin, sadly. Uh, we might have to find some way to clean that up in a little bit. Not right now, we are heading to Duna. And I'm just going to let this go until we break orbit. And... That looks good. Uh, though we have an interaction with Minmus, so let's go a little bit farther. We'll have some interaction with Minmus, but I don't think it's going to affect our course too, too much. And then we'll have to... Swing by. No planetary interaction. No destroyed ships. Good. Alright. What have we got? Kill this. Don't need it. Alright. We'll add our periapsis. We'll look for a maneuver that gets us into Duna space. Duna controlled territory. It might bring us close to Duna as well. There we go. Nice little tuning. We don't have to spend too much fuel to do this. All right, so it's a 49 second burn, lots of fuel, and we should have enough. Weird, I had to save and then reload the save to get anything to work, uh, but now it's working. We're just going to bring ourselves point over to our target, which does give us a little bit better sun exposure so that we could charge our AI in here. 
I don't think we need that fairing anymore. How about we just deploy that? Debris. Uh, let's us set control from here. As opposed to wherever else we're controlling it from. There isn't anybody on the ship, I hope. Because <laughs> that's just a hitchhiker container. All right, let's get ourselves pointed over. Definitely need the RCS here to control this. Because uh, when these engines are out, these engines are a little bit too powerful to have them on and trying to give any control thrusts. But this should bring us in line with our target in 55 days and it's a 49 second burn. So time to accelerate time. I find it interesting that Kerbin has a six hour day. And we want to start at about 25 seconds or so. And... There we go. Full throttle. Ship looks fine. Should probably watch our actual orbit. Cut those engines. Look at that. Periapsis of... 16 million meters. Nice. Yeah, let's get there. So it looks like this ship should get a 17-ton payload with this part here, which is the uh, hitchhiker container, which is three, which should help to build this new station, have it support for at least 10 Kerbals, especially when we get something else with uh, more parts coming up. So we'll see about doing that. Let's see if we can get this into orbit around Duna. If we can't do anything there. Well, actually, in fact, we are in interstellar space. And before we forget to do lots of important things, I'm just going to deploy these panels here. And might as well see about observing the street goose. And we can transmit that. Not worried about keeping the goo containers active. And what else do we have? We should have... There you go, barometer. Log some pressure data. Send that back to Kerbin. So we get some science. And... 10 science added. And temperature data. It should give us 7.2. Nice. Time warping again. It's just a jump to do now. Dun, 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 dun. All right. It's going to accelerate our way to Duna. Can we see it? All right. Well, we are to be influenced by Duna very shortly. Or enter in Duna's range of influence. Go. See it on this map now. Tiny as can be. There you are. Okay, you're to the right. <laughs> I was pointed in the wrong direction. Get ourselves realigned so that we can start our uh, retrograde burn. Don't want to break these solar panels, so let's uh, bring them in. Retract these panels. And we have a contract complete. Fly by Duna. Talk about close encounters any closer, and there'd be paperwork. Nice, and we get a good chunk of change. Don't know if that paid for the ship. But I wasn't paying attention to price. I was paying attention to science. Just need to get a little bit closer. The periapsis. 16 minutes to do. I don't know how fast this ship will fly. Or how much thrust we need. But we need to be pretty close to the periapsis. Slow ourselves down in an efficient manner. There we go. And captured. All right, let's bring us down into a nice orbit. I think double Ike, so three million meters. Uh, we don't want to be influenced by Ike accidentally. So six million meters. Ike's three million. Good enough. And do the same to our apoapsis. Then 
We'll have an orbiting station, satellite, whichever. And a template. Oops. You're not pointing the way I want you to point. And then a template to, for our future Duna missions. So we know we can get 17 tons up into orbit around Duna. With some fuel to spare, even. I wasn't expecting to bring this stage all the way. I was expecting to need to use the fuel in this stage here. But we were successful. And... Bring this retrograde again. And bring this orbit down. Seven, six. Let's tweak it a bit. Close enough. That gets us orbit around Duna. Nice. Now we can deploy these solar panels again. Where they go? Solar panel, extend. Solar panel, extend. Rotate. Can't even tell our the acid thrusting there. Just to get some stuff in the sun. Get our pressure readings. Transmit those. And our temperature. Transmit that. Can't get a crew report, can I? No, didn't think so. Keeps on telling me I can. Uh, you point that. And... Oh yeah, we have a goo container as well. Observe mystery goo. Transmit. So we've got a handful of signs from that. But we know, for a fact, that we can build a ship that can bring us to Duna. Alright. This has been Mobius Rex from Mobius Archives. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, leave us a like, leave us your comments and suggestions. We'll be back with you next time. Have a good day and a wonderful night. Bye bye.